now how you can can give this 15 rupees input so you can give the 15 rupees to this vending machine either so there are two slots first slot is slot of 10 rupees and second slot is of 5 rupees right so if i want the machine to be designed so what could be the way in which you can get 15 total rupees so either i can have combination as 10 plus 5 is equal to 50 or i can have combination very first i am inputting 5 rupees then 10 rupees and then you will be getting total 15 rupees third possibility is i can input 3 times 5 rupees coin and then i will get for all these cases the coffee will be ready are you getting so if i want to represent this vending machine with the help of finite automata how i will uh, represent it so as you can see here there are two slots of 10 rupees and 5 rupees right so if i want it to be represented so how many states i will have so since this is the combination where there is a possibility of inputting 5 rupees coins three times is it so i can have here three transitions 5 rupees 5 rupees and 5 rupees and then and then only i am reaching to final state which is indicator of the coffee will be released if you are in these states okay here here or here okay so you will not be having coffee released from the coffee vending machine is it clear so let me uh, nominate these states so i hope this case is very clear to everyone so if i can input 5 5 rupees coins three times i will get the coffee released now there are other two cases as well which is also giving as the coffee release that means it is taking us to the final state one is case 10 plus 5 now if this state is representing the machine received 5 rupees this state is representing the machine has received 10 rupees and this state is representing the machine has received 15 rupees so if i am inputting 10 rupees very first and then the 5 rupees so i can have one transition directly to the q2 with the 10 rupees are you getting so because this q2 is a state which is representing the receipt of 10 rupees so i will directly jump from initial state to the q2 state with the 10 rupees input and then with this 5 rupees so like this i can visit uh to the final state that means i have completed 15 rupees input and i can get a release of coffee coffee now this is this this case also we have considered now this is sequence same uh, combination 10 plus 5 but the sequence is different here so very first the 5 rupees is inputted and then the 10 rupees is inputted so 5 rupees inputted that is equivalent or the state q1 is representing 5 rupees received so from q1 if i give 10 rupees i will reach to a final state is it clear so in this way if i have to design a vending machine very first i need to design this model right and with this model it is very easy to design a final vending machine model so the question can be asked that what are the different case studies of finite automata or they can ask design a vending machine which accepts uh, 15 rupees to release uh, which releases coffee after inputting 15 rupees and there are two slots 10 rupees and 5 rupees slot so it is expected that you should draw this finite automata and explain it properly so i hope uh, this vending machine is clear this is the first case where we can apply the finite automata now the second case so the second case is the finite automata is also used in spell check so in word whenever you are typing anything if anything goes wrong what happens the uh, red line appears and that indicates you that there is a some mistake in your spelling is it and you correct it now how this finite automata can be used for the spelling check 
okay so for example i am having any state initial state q i want to check different spellings like if okay or and now there is a another spelling send so suppose there are different machines uh, sorry different spellings which i need to check okay so here i can have the so i will have input symbol as i then i am reaching to again in non final state okay and if i get f okay i will be reaching to a final state so this final state so q0 q1 and q2 so this final state is indicator of if is there so instead of if i am by mistake putting uh, in a spelling or in a sentence instead of if if i am writing is so there will be a some grammatical error okay so for is i need to have one more type of final state suppose this is a q3 so this is the indicator of is okay now if i have designed my finite automata which can check spellings for example if and send and suppose here is as well okay then as soon as i input any input string it is following this path and trying to reach okay so after reading each input symbol if it is reaching to final state then we will say that the spelling is correct but if we are not reaching to the so suppose i am giving input as i am so i am for i am the valid spelling is not there and no machine is designed finite automata is not designed for this so as soon as it is reaching to i so it will reach to q1 state then next input symbol is m so there is no path available with the m for f it is available for s it is available to reach to final state but no path is available for m so it clearly indicates that this particular spelling is wrong right similarly if you are having the and okay so here i can have again e n and then the d and there will be another final state okay now i am having suppose send so what i am having another one state which is starting with s and then i can join this particular state okay so from this initial state i am moving to s uh, so sorry this is s so there will be some state here so with s i am moving to this state then um, sorry uh, with s i am moving to this and then with e i am moving to this state because this is the state which is indicating that e for the e and d so it is indicator of e n is identified and here it is a indicator of e and d is identified so s this is indicator of s is uh, identified so s e n d like this you can have the designing of the finite automata for spell check so background of your spell checker is having actually the finite automata there are many more applications of finite automata where you want to show some kind of acceptance okay there you can apply or use this finite automata so i hope that these two applications so let me name if you are naming so q q0 q1 q2 q3 this is q4 this is q5 this is q6 and this may be suppose q7 so is it correct s e and d okay so in this way you can reach to the you can reach to the final state and which is the indicator of the acceptance of uh, or validation of a spell is correct spelling 
so i hope uh, you have understood these two applications or two uh, these two case studies now um, before starting new unit i would like to discuss some of the examples of 